Okay, we will continue with chapter 6, Exponential and Logarithm Functions, taken from the module BBMP1103. Okay, first of all, let's start off with the properties of exponentials. So here are some of the important formula which you need to know before we can proceed to answer some of the questions. Uh, formula number one, if you are given a to the power m times a to the power n, so if you notice that the base a, they are the same, then the power we add if it is multiplied. In formula number two, if it is dy, then the power we minus, okay? Formula number three, if the base are different, so the power the power are same, then we can take out the power. So we write as a times b bracket to the power of m. So the same goes for dy division. So when the powers are same, we can remove the power and then put in bracket a divided by b to the power of m. All right. In formula number 5, if we are given a to the power m and then bracket to the power n, then power and power we multiply. So we will get a to the power m n. Okay? Formula number 6, if the power is a negative, we invert it to become positive. So we will get 1 over a to the power of m. In formula number 7, here any number to the power 0, the answer is always equals to 1. And formula number 8, any number to the power 1 will give back that number again. And lastly, number, formula number 9, if the power is a fraction, so the denominator will become the root and the power will remain as power. Okay, so let's see how to apply this formula. In example 1, we are asked to find the values of the following. For example, A, we are asked to find 3 to the power negative 2 times 3 to the power 3. So here, you notice that 3 and 3, they are the same. So when we multiply the power, we add. Okay, so we have negative 2 plus 3. So the answer is 1. And hence, uh, 3 to the power 1, the answer is equal to 3. Let's look at uh, example B. We are given 2 to the power 2 to the power 3. So power and power, as I mentioned just now, we multiply. So 2 times 3 will give us 6. So 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64. Okay? Example C, we are asked to find 4 to the power 3 over 2. So again here, if the power is a fraction, so the denominator will become root and the power remain as power. So we will have a square root of 4 to the power 3. So square root of 4 will give us 2. And 2 to the power 3, the answer is equal to 8. So let's look at example D. We are asked to find 3 to the power negative 2. So remember, if the power is negative, we invert it to become positive. So we have 1 over 3 to the power 2. And 3 to the power 2 is equal to 9. So the answer is 1 over 9. Okay? In example E, we are asked to find 1 over 2 to the power negative 3. So remember, if it is negative, we invert it. So we will get 2 over 1 to the power 3. So 2 over 1 is 2, actually. So 2 to the power 3 will give us 8. In example F, we are given 3 over 2 to the power negative 2. So same thing as example E. So we invert it in order to become positive. So 3 over 2 will become 2 over 3 to the power 2. And so from here, 2 to the power 2 is 4 and 3 to the power 2 is 9. Okay? Okay, let's look at example 2. In example 2, we are asked to solve the following equations. Right? So A is 8 to the power 2x equals to 2. So if you are given